Well, that's, well, that's not good news. He's telling me the flowy robes are in. I'm in a corset, like all season. I'm Amelia Clark, and I'm gonna read you some absurd fan theories with the, uh, <laughs> with the help of Mr. Raven here. Let's see, shall we? Let's, do you mind? Tyrion is a time-traveling fetus, the product of Drogo and Daenerys. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, you know, I think it's kind of, because there's like a whole lot of history about the fact that he was kind of born and killed his mum doing it. So, you know, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna hold up. Danny sitting on the throne is going to be a goosebumps moment. Fuck! She just leaving for Westeros was a goosebumps moment. And what is that compared to her sitting on the Iron Throne? Holy fucking fuck! Yeah, totally agree. Holy fucking fuck. This will be fine by me. Jack Sparrow marries Daenerys. You know, Johnny, are you listening? Um, <laughs> that's really just weird. You know, he's not a Game of Thrones. <laughs> Mutt1223. This entire season is just Danny on a cruise to Westeros playing board games with Tyrion. I like that. Absolutely. Yep. That is the whole of the last, almost last season. Sir Connor the Whitefish. Winter is coming, but Danny's so hot, she melt the snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm on fire. I don't see Danny marrying anyone. I see more of an Elizabeth I approach. Well, that's quite sad, really. Am I not worthy of marrying someone? Is she not worthy of? Because I think she could do with a little, you know, bed partner. If Danny dies before she gets to Westeros, it will be worse than the Harry Potter epilogue. That's just mean. I don't know the Harry Potter epilogue, but clearly it's not any good. I'd like to see Danny marry Sam somehow. I think he's taken, as he seems to have a decent house name and isn't most likely related to her, like John is. <laughs> That's a good enough reason for me. Sam, watch out. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find you in a library. <laughs> I think that will put that to the boys. Let's call George R. Martin.